I'm Dr. Gary Clayman of the Clayman Thyroid Cancer Center of Tampa, Florida. In this video, we're going to talk about thyroglobulin and it's sometime going up and what does it mean? Yeah, so thanks for the opportunity to ask the question. So I've been tracking my thyroglobulin levels uh, on your app, which I, I love the app. The, your thyroid nodule app is su super cool. But my thyroglobulin is elevating and tell me about thyroglobulin and why my doctor and now me were a little bit concerned that my thyroglobulin was really low and now my thyroglobulin is going high tell me about what does that mean what's going on okay so the first is is that this is a number okay so you need to be careful a blood test number it's a blood test number but it can be a low number or it can be a number that keeps getting up and up and up and becomes higher and higher and higher so that number is important, but also we're not studying numbers either. I mean, those numbers can sort of change with time as well. And different laboratories may have different results. So you need to be careful about trying to compare different blood tests obtained in different areas. So, you, so I have to be careful. I can't look at one number and get freaked out on one number. I have to look at what's the big picture, what's, what's the, as, we, as my dad used to always tell me, look at the climate, not the weather. I want to, what's the big picture, not the one little number. Right. And you also need to realize that thyroglobin is also produced by thyroid tissue. So if there was not complete removal of all the thyroid tissue, you didn't get radioactive iodine, there may be a little bit of thyroid tissue that's producing this, that may produce a little that's bit not, of That's number. not thyroid cancer. It's not thyroid so cancer. So thyroid globulin is produced by all thyroid tissue, not just by thyroid cancer. So if I still have some thyroid globulin, it doesn't necessarily mean I've got thyroid cancer. It means I just have some thyroid tissue. Possibly. Possibly. This may be more of a concern if thyroid globulin was really low, was zero, and then it was coming up. So if there's a patient out there that you see whose thyroid globin was very low, now it's coming up. What are the next steps? What do they do? Is, I, I'm assuming it's a really high quality ultrasound. The first thing is the high quality ultrasound because the most common place that we're gonna find it is someplace in your neck. The most common place, if the thyroid cancer came back? If the cancer is gonna come back. Somewhere where the thyroid was before. Correct. Where the thyroid was before or someplace else in your neck. Like lymph nodes. Lymph nodes in the neck. The second most common place, and it's uncommon except in patients that are older or very, very young patients, less than 21 or 23 years of age, is the potential of having thyroid cancer that's in the lungs. So if my thyroid globin is coming up, I'm getting an ultrasound, and I'm going to get like, like a CAT scan or something of my, of my chest? You may get a CAT scan of the chest and may even get a CAT scan of the neck looking at the areas that the ultrasound can't see in the neck. And so if they, if they find it, um, like in a lymph node or something, do they biopsy it or something? Or how do they know if it's, they see a lymph node, if, it's, if that's where the thyroglobin is? Can they tell if the thyroglobin is coming from a lymph node by so some sort of biopsy or what? Right, right. So when you come and see me, I'm going to do that ultrasound of your neck. And not only can I look at the lymph node, can I look at the cells within the lymph node? You mean but, with a biopsy, you mean? With a little skinny needle, I'll get a biopsy of the cells, but I can also look for thyroglobulin in that lymph node because the lymph node doesn't have thyroglobulin in it unless it has thyroid cancer in it. So if the thyroglobulin is going up, that's a concern, but we have to not focus on a particular number. We have to focus more on trends. And, and if it's going up, the trend is up, then we need to see an expert and see if the cancer is coming back. And really start looking.